हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल आई एम तबस्सुम योर इंग्लिश टीचर एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई इंग्लिश लेसन्स दिस इज़ अवर थर्ड वीक एंड टिल नाउ वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड लेसन नंबर वन दैट इज वॉटर्स फॉर वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड एक्सप्लेशन एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन आंसर वोकेबलरी and right now we are learning lesson number 2 that is the shoemaker and the elves uh, here in this lesson explanation part is over today we are going to learn reading comprehension where we will study uh, true false mcq and question answer so without a further go let's get started so this is our lesson number 2 the shoemaker and the elves let's start reading comprehension text based question but before moving ahead have a look on some of the word meanings first is to scrub which means to rub hard for cleaning another meaning another word elves which is plural form of elf meaning is a fairy like creature with pointed ears next is perfect and meaning is without fault or defect next is surprise and the meaning is wonder next word to finish and meaning is to complete another excellent and meaning is of very high quality next word curtain and the meaning is a piece of cloth hung up at a door or window next rags and the meaning is old and torn clothes next is instead which means in place of something another cross legged and meaning is sitting with one leg placed across the other and the last word bare means without clothes or covering as we have learned the story so right now it's quite easy to find out the answer of all these questions let's start reading comprehension exercise a first question take the correct answer question number 1 The shoemaker wanted to sew shoes. Here we are having four options. Option number A, early in the morning. Option number B, next day. Option C, at midnight. And the last option number D, previous day. So as we have learned the story, the correct answer is the shoemaker wanted to sew shoes early in the morning. Option number A is the correct answer. Next question. number 2 when the shoemaker saw a better pair of shoes he was option a annoyed option b surprised option c very sad option d happy so the correct answer is option number b surprised question number 3 the elves wore option number a overcoat option number b raincoat option number c old and torn clothes and the last op option is dress so the correct answer is the elves wore old and torn clothes option number c is the correct answer fourth question the beautiful shoes were made by options are option a elves option b magician option c joker option d fairies so the correct answer is the shoes were made by the elves option number a is correct answer next how many gold pieces were given to the shoemaker options are option number a 100 option number b 200 option number c 300 and option number d 400 so as you have studied the answer tell me what is the correct answer so the correct answer is option number a 100 here we have completed exercise a of reading comprehension now moving ahead our exercise b is say whether the following statements are true or false 
here some of the statements are given which is based on this story you have to say whether it is a correct statement or wrong if the statement is correct you have to write true and if it is incorrect you have to write false so first the shoe maker was very poor so based on a story it is a correct statement so here in bracket you have to write true second question the shoe maker was surprised when he saw a better pair of shoe it's really correct absolutely correct so here you have to write true the shoes were made by the elves at night it is also correct the elves were used to make shoes during night when there was no one in the shop so it is a true statement right true here in bracket the elves wore beautiful clothes is it a correct statement no why because the elves used to wear old and torn clothes they usually wore rags so it is a false statement last question the shoemaker and his wife made little coats and trousers for the elves yes it is a correct statement so we will write here true moving ahead next exercise c is answer the following questions here we are having six questions we will all learn them one by one so question number 1 is where did the shoe maker live so i am going to give you answers question number 1 where did the shoe maker live the shoe maker lived with his wife in a little house on the edge of a wood he lived in a very isolated place question number 2 why was the shoe maker poor the shoe maker was poor because only few people used to buy shoes from him he did not have money to buy more leather day by day the shoe maker and his wife grew poor question number 3 what did the shoe maker do when he saw a better pair of shoes answer is when the shoe maker saw a better pair of shoes he went to the market at once and sold them he earned a good amount of money next question number 4 how did the shoe maker become rich answer is the shoe maker became rich by selling excellent pairs of shoes in market day by day he became famous and every day and sorry and everybody wanted to buy shoes from him even the queen of the country was pleased by the shoes made by him and rewarded him a hundred piece of gold coin next question is what did the shoe maker and his wife give the little elves answer is the shoe maker's wife made little shirts coat vest trousers and a pair of socks for the little elves and the shoe maker made two little pair of shoes for them question number 6 and the last question why did the little elves never came back answer is the little elves never came back because the shoe maker and his wife always had good luck they grew richer and richer and lived happily ever after so here we have done with our reading comprehension on our next class we will do and discuss vocabulary question till then watch it learn it have a nice day bye bye